What's up, Leo? So, I decided to start with you because, um... I pulled the strength card, right? That's number 11. So, you are definitely mirroring someone. And you're definitely in the process of making a decision regarding love. Definitely. You... You are a little discontent with where you're at. It seems like even the, the joys that you experienced at one point are no longer giving you the same rush that they once did. It's like the universe is offering you a cup and you're just like, mm, I got too much shit going on. I have too much to do right now to even focus on that. And a realization or truth may have just come up within you or from externally and it's making you become a little complacent it's making you become go right into healing mode it's been, at night you're probably just sitting there exhausted or thinking like what's the next step what's the next goal what i need to feel more i'm bored i i what used to fulfill me no longer fulfills me anymore. What do I do? What is it? And there, it's important to understand that if you have a problem or if you have an issue, if you have something to work out, the problem does not exist in the same mental space as the solution. So if you're thinking of the problem and you're trying to find a solution from that frame of reference, in that energy, the solution doesn't exist there. It's, it's, it's not easy, but release it. Focus on something that makes you happy because the solution exists on a different vi vibration. The solution will come to you out of nowhere, but when you're not thinking about it, when you're in a space where you're happy. But right now, it's a time for healing. And with two fours, you're building a new foundation. You're realizing again that the things that you value, your values are changing. And it's taking a lot of strength. You are the strength card. It's pers that's perseverance, that's endurance, that's I know how to lead the way, you can follow me. I know how to tame the lion, I know how to be the lion. Alright. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups, that's you. You are seeking, again, same message, happiness, fulfillment, joy within yourself. You may enjoy the materialistic things. You might like living a nice life. You are used to people being drawn to you. You're very charismatic. You stand out in a crowd. If you enter a room, you end up changing the energy. People are drawn to you. People want to look at you. People, hi. <laughs> people want to be around you. People want to be around your energy. But lately, you could have had some contrast. There might be some financial constraints or you might be wishing that you had more money, more attention, or more love from the people around you or the people in your life. You may be feeling like things are hidden from you. Take, step, take comfort in knowing that, especially when the moon comes out, things are supposed to be hidden from you. Life hides things from you because sometimes the outcome is too good. Life is like, hold off on that. But you're seeking stability. And you're tired of the fighting. You're even thinking about walking away. You're considering options on how to move forward. Whether this is a friendship. Whether this is with a career, a, a goal. If you're going to school, then you might be trying to move forward to like a different direction. All I know is that your direction is changing. And you're wondering where I'm at right now. Is this where I want to be for the long haul? What? Mm -hmm. Is this where I want to be for the long haul? Because I'm tired of doing this mental fight. I'm tired of going to bed thinking about how I can get that thing that I want. I've exhausted all my resources in this, in this place and I can't really move forward why can't you wait eight of cups i feel like is moving forward but why can't you why do you feel like you can't move forward why can't you move forward
Because the passion that you have, the interest that you have, the the place where you feel the happy happiest is not in the current place that you are. You want to celebrate something, but you just you're still healing from something that hurt you. You're waiting on the right time and the right energy to make that decision. And you know what? King of Swords with the Seven of Cups in reverse. That's a decision. You, I feel like you have put so much energy into whatever I'm talking about. However this resonates with you. Into life itself. And you're tired of not having the people around you live up to that expectation that you have. Or you're like, if I, if I put this much in, if I give this much... Why am I not getting it back? It, it almost seems to not be fair. You're ready for justice to be served. I wouldn't be surprised if justice came out. And what's the overall theme? Too many cooks in the kitchen. You may have too many people in your ear, or there might be too many people in your friend's ear, your person's ear, talking, giving them advice that is... Um, confusing the situation it's confusing them it's confusing you and you're ready to get out of neptune energy you're ready to stop the fantasy you're ready to stop believing something you want to believe to be true you just want it you just want the truth creative spark it's coming call on archangel Raphael to heal the heart abundance is on the way and remember, too, that abundance is not something that you have to manifest. Abundance is present. Abundance is always around. It's just the lim limitations that we set on ourselves that make us not attract the abundance. But abundance is always present. Always, always, always. Someone saying, oh, it's like that? Be kind to yourself. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or wondering, am I delusional? Am I believing in a fantasy or is this the end? Is this the end? Capricorn energy and deep regret. So someone, you or somebody feels deep regret. Um, you're transitioning. You're going through a very, very heavy, uh, big transition. Trust your intuition. And focus on what you want, but be flexible with the outcome. Be flexible with how it's going to happen. Be, release how it's going to happen. Just put out there in a general sense what you want, what you desire, which is obviously to get your creative spark back. You are fire. You're fire energy. So to be in all this, I see so many swords, so many pentacles. It's like you might feel like you're out of your element. What's going to ignite this spark back if, we're, if we are allowed to know? That's why. Hangman. Hey, you're sitting. You're thinking. You're getting all the information. You're making sure that whatever choice you do make, however you choose to move forward, it will be fruitful. It will be satisfying to you because you're realizing right now that you're all you got. That people have constantly shown you that the... the juice wasn't worth the squeeze or that people are always going to betray you in some way and that's another reason why you represent the strength card because it's like wow i see you okay you like that i'll be strong i'll move forward i'll find another thing to ignite my passion um what do you what are you realizing in hangman mode it seems like you're grounding yourself more which is really really good it seems like the Queen of Coins in reverse. There's someone that you're connected to that is very concerned with money, business. Three of Coins and the Devil in reverse. They're very concerned with things that are outside of you. And you're noticing that, which is what's putting you into hangman mode. They want to constantly start something new, start something new, but they're neglecting to realize the stability that you offer in this friendship, in this connection. 
they're learning to release that. They're learning to release something. And so are you. And so are you. But again, now, what, what is going to ignite your passion back? A lot of air energy, man. You're in your head a lot. You, a child might be involved, but you might be moving. You might want to move. You might just want to dip. You might just want to escape. Just dip out of here. Wolves might be important to you. Spirit animals, feathers. But you just constantly feel like you have to stand your ground. And that's not how it was in the beginning of whatever this was. It was stable. It was sure. It was constant. You felt secure. But a heartbreak happened. And you had to pull the sword out of your own heart. Strength. Because something out of your control happened in the shadows. I'm sorry. But you know what? It made you put love back into yourself. And it had somebody, that person that's connected to you, realize the stability that you offer. Even, I'm hearing it with your feistiness. Even in your feistiness. You want to hold on to what makes you feel safe. And you might feel comfortable exactly where you are. There's just something missing. I just feel like something's missing. The love. It's like if I can't get it from you, I'm going to have to fill my own cup. Because I don't want to pull another sword out of my heart. But you're not communicating this. Fate is something that is... Go, something's going to happen. It's written in the stars. There's not much that we could do to change it. But the situation where you're unhappy at home, in love, if you feel like people are watching you, again, too many cooks in the kitchen, it's almost like you're in like some sort of spotlight in your community or with your friends or people are watching your relationship or your whatever you're focused on. And it's putting a lot of pressure on you. You don't feel like you have the energy to even be able to give any more than what you've already give, given. And again, the page of wands, the spark is coming, but it's just not there. It's like you planted the seeds for what you want, but they have not grown yet. But they will, they will. Damn, more sword energy. Now you're on the lookout. Someone made you put your defenses up. And now you, you're looking both ways. You got eyes in the back of your head. Because what once was a victory, what once you, something you once celebrated, the arrows turned upside down and inward. You might even be appreciating the simple life more. Because after juggling so much to maintain what you have now, two twos, you realize at, at the core of it, when it comes down to it, even if you have all the money, all the attention, all the acclaim, all the fame, all the acknowledgement, if you're alone in it, it doesn't mean much. You could have, you could be standing in the fire for someone, for yourself, but the water, the love is right behind you, but you can't see it. The emperor, the judgment, and the star. Damn. You're in King of Swords energy right now, and at last, Aries, fire energy. You're going to go from... I'm juggling too much. I don't know what to do. I just feel like I'm alone in this situation. Even if I'm with someone, I just feel like I'm dealing with this alone. But that's going to give you fulfillment. You're going to be like, you know what? I saw the sun. And it opened up my eyes. I saw the sun. You're deeply healing. You may be feeling like you're at a low. 
You may be feeling like you're losing hope. But look at the difference between these two cards. Night and day. Literally. And look at the sword that he has. Look at how huge that is. It's like a berserk type sword. You're going to conquer your situation. You're going to feel a calling from within that's going to make you step into your power and be like, wait, I remember who the fuck I am now. And that's no joke. I'm tired of going through this cycle over and over and over again. I'm tired of being in this house. I want to move forward. Even if I have to go through all this, I don't care. I got the, I'm loaded. I'm good. I'm got. Abundance is headed your way. What's the message for Leo? Messages for a rabbit. You could be connected to animals, rabbits, cats. I'm getting badgers and monkeys out of nowhere. And I wonder what will happen next. You're at the precipice of change. That's the state of mind that you should be in. Because look at how dark it is. But there's a little sunlight. I, and look at her face too. But I wonder what will happen next. That's a good vibrational standpoint to be at. You're ready for adventure. There's a pause. You're in hangman energy. It's a pause before action. But you're ready to see what's next. Oh, is that a freaking cat? Dude, yeah. You might be connected to cats. Obviously the lions. You're ready to start building a whole new world. And nature communication. When you walk outside, look at the flowers. Look at the grass. Feel the sun. You're ruled by the sun. And the sun is finally coming out. Feel the sun on your skin. And, and take in the little things that make you feel alive again. You're meant to feel alive. Curiosity, discovery. I wonder what will happen next. And am I, don't be scared. Be excited. Be excited. Be excited about what's coming next because you can't go back to yesterday. If you're reflecting um, nostalgically on what was and you're trying so hard to get it back, but the other person is focused elsewhere or the opportunity doesn't seem to be manifesting even though you've tried so hard and so long and held on to it for so long. It's time to build a foundation elsewhere. To hold on to something that's going to give back to you the way that you give. Be in the present moment. Because now is the only moment that exists. And now is already in the past when you think about it. Because by the time I finish the sentence, we're already in a new now. Focus on the future. Taking your power back. Realizing the patterns that hold you back. Maybe of codependency. Of being attached to things that may have had a hold on you patterns that you patterns that you have in relationships um, friendships work that no longer serve you the veil is lifted the truth is going to be revealed you could be thinking about being single or you are single and scared to love or leap because oh look new adventure because of all the times that people have let you down in the past and again, too many cooks in the kitchen. Hangman energy is good for you right now. It's time to isolate. It's time to reflect. And don't try so hard to figure it out. Just know that you want happiness and focus on the things that make you happy and the happiness will come. That's a rule of the law of attraction. You don't have to focus on the thing that bothers you the most. If anything, don't focus on that. Focus on the things that make you happy. Focus on how far you've come. Focus on the, the sun on your skin. Focus on the things in front of you, your friends, your family, anything that brings you joy and the rest will fall into place. You don't have to worry about the thing that's making you feel like this right now. And if you feel like you've waited a long time and you've juggled for a long time and a lot has been going on for you for a long time and you've been holding it down emotionally for a long time, that's why your strength. It's time to forgive. It's time to use your intuition and be flexible in whatever the outcome is going to be. It's not going to be what you expect it to be. But don't allow your emotions to erupt. Maintain balance, alchemize, run, go to the beach and scream. 
avoid sabotaging things. You could connect to wolves too. You have great inner strength. Try to release judgments on others because when you recognize that everyone is a mirror to ourselves, that means you have to look within and say, why does this person annoy me, frustrate me, anger me, piss me off, upset me? What is it in them that I see in me? That's the healing that must be done in hangman mode. That's, and until then, then you can grow your wings. Tame that lion, that tiger, and ride it again. Again, birds may be of significance. Also, look for the flowers, feel the sun, look at nature. You're in your head a lot right now. And with fire, you're, you're more comfortable with air energy than water and earth, but don't let it deteriorate your willpower and your spirit. Wake up every day. Every day is a new day. Do you, be you, be strong. I wish you luck. You are the bomb.com. There's a new doorway opening for you, for sure. For sure. It's beautiful, it's brilliant. I don't like to speak the future in my readings because, you know, we create our own realities, but when I get a, a very intuitive message, also you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I don't know if I said that, but um, happiness is coming. All right, Leo. Mwah. Was I a unicorn in my past life? <laughs> I was obsessed with unicorns for a solid few months. I even got the ears. I wore glitter on my face, so if you were, then I was too, man. Alright, I'm ending this though. Love you guys. Spread love, be love, be kind whenever you can. Be kind and rewind. Bye, darlings. I never know how to end these things. I don't know where the off button is. Help! Ah! Mm -hmm. Bye.